do a filter like this one here. I submitted this to Snapchat about two weeks ago and it's already been accepted. Um, I'm going to say first dot ego for browser. And we're going to type in this link here, snapchat.com slash geofilters slash submit dot html. We're going to go over to, to download template and click on your uh, whatever one you're using. I'm using Photoshop, so I downloaded the Photoshop PSD. Okay. So now you, we can go into Photoshop, and I opened up my Photoshop PSD here, and I've created a new layer already. So first step you're going to go to, you're going to want to hit the Custom Shape Tool. So it's down here. You right-click on this one, and you can go down all the way to Custom Shape Tool. And I selected this shape here. So um, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's some sort of banner here, and I'm going to form it up here. So I'm going to draw it out. I'm not going to hold shift or anything because that will hold it in perspective like that. We want to stretch it out a little bit and say get where you want it. Okay, I like it like that. So next, I don't want it yellow. I'm going to want it to be black. So I'm going to fill color, change to black. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two strokes to the shape that I just put on. So I'm going to, I'm going to tap. Okay, it's a green, and it's a, let me go to my color tool. So I'm just picking the color out for my green here. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, so it's a green on the outside and a white on the inside. So I'm going to double click the shape tool. And as you can see, it pulls up all of these effects that you can put on. So this is really helpful when doing Snapchat Geo filters. So again, you just double click your layer that you want to put the effects on. So I'm going to add two strokes here. One, two. Okay. So I'm going to click on them. So as you can see, this one's black. We don't want it black. We want it green on the outside. And we have that green there. So I'm going to go down to my color picker, click it, hit OK. So now it's 5, the size 5. We want to increase that size a little bit. Um, so increase it to where you want it to be. Okay, so it's going to be at 9, size 9. And the other one's going to be at size 16. So as you can see, it kind of creates a double effect here. Um, so it does split. Okay, I'm going to hit OK that's done and now I'm going to move this up a little bit so we want okay, I don't want it up that high but hit control and that will help you not put it up at the top okay next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer um, and I'm going to create a type type tool uh, not type tool type layer here and we're going to want it to be a nice shade of green like that. And let me see what font this is. Some of my fonts I okay, it's DK Django regular. You can go to dafont.com, D A font.com and that will bring up all these cool fonts. So I've got DK Django regular. And I did it in all caps. I'm going to increase my size to around 36. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so the width of the city I'm going for is around. Okay, I'm going to set it there. I think I like that size, so it's 36. Um, actually, I might put it down a little bit. Put it down to 34. Okay, I like that better. Okay, once you've got your um, text font here, I'm centering it. So, Good. And actually, I'm going to hit control and move it around to where I think it should be centered. Okay, so once you're done with that, I have an extra thing there. Okay, so I have my text layer here. You're going to create another effect on this um, text. So double click the text tool, and it will again come up with um, your effects. So what you're going to click, 
is I did an inner glow and an outer glow. So I'm going to click inner glow. I'm going to click outer glow as well. So the inner glow is going to be a screen. And opacity up. And as you can see, you can see a little bit of outline. Um, that's where I want to go. You could increase your size, but I don't want it too big because I still want it to be green. So I think that's good at around 9. And then the outer glow will create a nice like foggy effect on it. So I'm going to, again, it's going to be white. Increase this opacity a little bit, but also increase the size so it creates a nice, again, foggy sort of streaky thing. So I also... So once you've got that, that's basically it. Um, you can play around with your sizes. So I might go a little less because it covers the whole thing. I like that. Maybe a little, a little less, a little more. Okay. So once you've played around with it, so again, I have inner glow and outer glow here. So I'm going to hit OK. As you can see, it looks kind of cool. I like it. So I've got my shape with two strokes around it. Um, I got my Harrisburg font with DK Jambo. I can um, put a link um, underneath this video and you can download that font. Um, also, there's an inner glow and outer glow effect on the Harrisburg. And that's basically it. You can hit File, Save As, um, at the Export, Save for Web. And you want to do PNG24 tran transparency on click OK when done. So I already submitted this so I'm not going to save it again. But you should hit save. And then again you'll go to the Snapchat thing where you got the download template. And you're going to do upload via filter um, assist and it'll come up with your files. You click your geo filter that you're going to want to do. Hit OK. For me I'm not going to do one but and then now you can select where you want your geo filter to be. So mine's Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, and I would select this area around here. You click, 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 click and around um, the general area. It doesn't have to be that precise. And then once you're happy with that, type in your name, why is this important to you, whatever, agree, agree. Um, submit and hopefully it will be uh, accepted so thanks again guys this is uh, busy edits here showing you how to create a geo filter um, for Photoshop thanks